trend news. Few hours after President Tinubu removed fraud subsidy, see the terrible thing happening now in Lagos. You're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. Now to the details, carefully listen to the end. Few hours after President Bola Tinubu declared that fraud subsidies are gone. Lines at gas stations in Lagos began to form. In Ikeja, Lagos, NNPC, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation stations were congested with hurriedly purchasing motorists. Several private stations we are still not selling at this time. The newly elected president of Nigeria formally declared the withdrawal of four subsidies, claiming that there was no provision for them. This was said by Tinumbu on Monday at Eagle Square in Abuja during his inauguration speech. He had claimed to have been told there was no funding for fraud subsidies and that they were no longer justifiable. Fraud subsidy is no longer justifiable, he declared, in light of depleting resources. Subsidies can no longer be justified based on their rising costs. Instead, we will reinvest the money into better public infrastructure, healthcare, education, and employment opportunities that will significantly better millions of people's lives. No fraud subsidy provision. A thorough home cleaning, he had it, with the interest rates going down. However, Nigerians have reacted massively on Twitter after this happened. Some people praised President Tinubu for this decision, while others criticized him. At TikTok said, Hopefully, it won't be worse than what we witnessed between November last year and April this year. The worst part of this type of scarcity is that both us and other major marketers might not be able to come to our aid. At Shuno said, and now the hardship begins. To well-meaning Nigerians who stood on the right side of history, may we overcome every form of shigi that comes by. The president of Nigeria, during his inaugural speech, who said that fraud subsidy has been removed. And immediately he said this, filling stations were filled with queues of motorists, those that came with their kegs, their jerry cans, those that came with their vehicles, the line was, the queue was so long. And even despite the fact that they queued, the filling station, we are not selling fuel for them, petrol for them, yet they queued. Nigerians are quick to take action. This subsidy that have started during the ad admi administration of Burari, but because Tinumbu said it, Nigerians quickly went to fill their homes with petrol. And looking at Lagos, in every year that you get to, you will see a long queues of those that want to get full. And even some filling stations did not even sell. They said they do not have. And this is actually the problems in which Nigeria faced last year, November, even till this year. 
because once there is frost scarcity, hardship will come to the country because those that are importing foodstuffs, those that are bringing foodstuffs from the other country will increase the price of everything they are selling. Even public transport will increase their prices because they make use of fraud. And President Tinubu has actually explained what it meant. But this fraud subsidy will actually cause a lot of shaggy to Nigerians. And this achieve in which began from the very first day the president is sworn in. And this was not what he promised the Nigerians. Even if the first subsidy wants to be removed, it is not immediately. It is a gradual process. And stakeholders, marketers need to be met for them to discuss on how to go about it. Some people praised him for what he has done, while some criticized his action. Although he said that they, they, they don't have funds for first subsidy. That's why they had to remove it. So they can invest this money on forced subsidy into in public infrastructure, education, health care, employment opportunities. That is good. But removing a first subsidy is a gradual process. Whereby the ex-president, Buhari, has said that the, the first subsidy will continue for, will, till June. And they will see how it is going. Once it is June, ending of June, it will be removed completely. But immediately he spoke this everywhere, especially Lagos. Long queues. And filling stations are not even ready to sell. We have come to the end of the news. What your cheer or your take to what is happening in the country concerning what the president said on the first subsidy please share your view in the comment section thank you